For the past decade, Nigerian music artists have had a good run with music, from putting out hit singles to albums to selling out shows. I mean, this is really worth celebrating. So the year 2013 was that year filled with a lot of great music projects. And for that, we're taking a look at five albums that are 10 years this year. On the number one spot is Life, Living an Impact for Eternity, the debut studio album by the African giant himself, Bonaboy, and it was released on the 12th of August 2013 by Aristocrat Records. The album is a mixture of reggae, dancehall, Fuji, and Afrobeat sound, and was greatly inspired by the music of Bob Marley, Fela Kuti, and King Sonny Ade. Prior to the album release, Bonaboy dropped five singles such as Like to Party, Tonight, Always Love You, Run My Race, and Yawa Day. And guess what? The entire album was produced by Larry and it features the likes of Tubaba, Timaya, Olamide, M.I., Whiskey, and Reminis. Bonaboy described the album as a journey through life during his interview with Tools on Indani TV. The album got nominated for Best R&B Slash Pop Album and Album of the Year at the 2014 Eddies and also Best Album of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Award. On the number two spot is Baddest Guy Ever Lived by Olamide. On November 7, 2013, Olamide aka Badu, a Nigerian hip hop recording artist, released his third studio album titled Baddest Guy Ever Lived. The album had guest appearances like Ketchup, Ice Prince, NDR, Victor, Fino, BEZ, and a host of others, and was entirely produced by Fuse except for track 13, which is Sitting on the Throne. Baddest Guy Ever Lived was recorded in Yoruba mostly, and the album had four lead singles like Durosoke, Turn Up, Give Me My Lover and Eleda Mio. Olamide had to postpone his initial release date of October 14, 2013 for Sam Clef's album. Olamide said, don't compete with your homies, make money with your homies. Due to the respect and love I have for my homies, Sam Clef, I'm holding my album back. Let's support Sam Clef. Baddest Guy Ever Lived won Best Rap Album and Album of the Year at the Hedis in 2014 and also Best Album of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards in 2014 as well. On the number three spot is RMBW. Olu Bankole Wellington, known by his stage name Bankley W, aka Mr. Capable, released his fourth studio album on February 14, Valentine's Day in 2014 by his label EME, Empire Mate Entertainment. The album features the likes of Sakodi, Shady, Scales, MI, Tubaba, Kamula, LD, Lins, Niola, Vector, and Rotimi. The album was produced by Banky himself, Kobams, Asupo, Mastercraft, MI, Spells, Sars, and Sam Clef. The album had these singles like Yes or No, released on November 19, 2012, and Good Good Loving, which won Best R&B Single at the Hedis in 2013. R&B W had a lot of positive reviews and was nominated for Best R&B Slash Pop Album and Album of the Year at the Hedis in 2013. On number four spot is Once Upon a Time, Queen of Afrobeat, Nigerian singer and songwriter to her Savage debut studio album Once Upon a Time was released by Maven Records and 323 Entertainment on July 3, 2013. The 21 tracks album was produced by Don Jazzy, There Be, Spells, Gospel on the Beat, and a host of others. Once Upon a Time had guest features like Don Jazzy, Flavor, Sakuri, Leo Wonder, Iceberg Slim, and General Pipe. On November 4, 2010, to her Savage released the album's lead single, Kele Kele Love. She released other singles like Love Me in 2011, which won Best Vocal Performance Female and Best R&B Single at the Hedis in 2012. Without My Heart was released in December 5, 2011, and also Ife Wagbono, Polarin. Olorimi was released, which pays tribute to the late Godi Harvey and Justice Esiri. And on the 8th of October 2013, she released Eminado, which features Don Jazzy. Once Upon a Time was nominated for the Best Album of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards and Best R&B Slash Pop Album at the Hedis in 2014. On number 5 spot is Jazz Nation Vol. 1, The Nation Come. After his departure from Chocolate City in 2012, Nigerian rapper and record producer Jesse Jacks released his second studio album, Jazz Nation Vol. 1, The Nation Come. This was released on the 10th of July 2013. The album production was handled by Jesse Jacks himself and a host of others like Beauty Beats, St. Clef and Shady Business. And it featured the likes of Nice, Whiskey, Brimo, Lindsay, Abude, and James Maverick. Of the album was the lead single, Redemption, which was released on the 29th of May 2013, with a follow up single, Bad Girl, featuring Whiskey, Sess and Scotch, and God on the Mic. The album received positive reviews for its production, theme, and lyrics. Jazz Nation Vol. 1 Die Nation come back nomination for Best Album of the Year at the Nigerian Entertainment Award and Best Rap Album at the Hedis in 2014. 
And that's a wrap on the five albums that are 10 years this year. Feel free to let us know what you think on the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Jay, for the Down for Pundit. Peace.